Okay, so, um, guys. What's that cool about guys? Um, what, like, I remember when I was younger, it was so easy to find a guy and a boyfriend and everything. Now I'm almost 30, I'm freaking out that I'm not married. I want to be married. I want to have that with somebody. Um, I don't typically smoke during my videos. I'm not going to show you what I smoke, but, um, don't, like, I've tried to quit numerous times. I gain weight or pick up other habits. Um, uh, best thing you can do is just never pick it up, okay? There's something on my glasses. What is it? Oh, <laughs> I was doing some do it your uh through yourself so I had a little uh, heart stuck to it. Okay. This is it. Um I I have been married. Um uh, my husband passed in two thousand and nine. Sorry, this does warn a cigarette. Cause I'm gonna tell you a story. This will be I guess a story time video. I'm Crystal by the way. Um Okay. And, I mean, I'm just, I'm really frustrated right now, too. Okay. Um, I did have, okay, after my husband passed away, I did have a steady boyfriend. Um, these are not fake, by the way. These are, these are all real. I don't, I don't think I've shown these on camera. But those, those are all real. That one's my favorite. It's, um, it's actually in memory of my husband. And actually, it was before the Ed Hardy stuff, but it says love killed me slowly. But, um, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, my husband treated me great, you know, and I guess he gave me expectations. I mean, growing up and being taught things and then, you know, being with, you know, being married to him, I had developed expectations of the way I want to be treated since then. Before then, I was treated terribly. Like, um, we'll, we'll, we'll dive more into my past. Like, okay, when I'm diving into my past, remember that I'm 100% a different person. But, um, the very first time that I did have an intercourse, I got pregnant. And I do have a son, and his mom, the dad's mom, worked for CPS. And for eight years, fought me in every move. I mean, she had private investigators on me, everything. So I only got to raise my son until he was eight. And I haven't seen him since. Um, I hope and I pray that when he's 18, he comes and finds me. Because I hope he remembers that I did want him and that I was a good mom. But, you know, I can't. That's, you know, when you lose your kid, you lose a part of yourself. But, um, anyways, not to depress anybody. But back to that, um, the guy that I got pregnant by, like, I ended up not, not being with him. You know what I mean? And, um, when I was three months pregnant, I met the guy that I was with for five years. Um, I'm not going to say his name. We're going to call him Travis. Okay, we're going to call him Travis. Um, I was with him for five years. He treated me great for the first year and a half. Or the first year and a half, he would beat me. And by beat me, I mean like with his fist. Um, I'd have to stay in the house for periods of time and not let anybody see me. Um, during one of the beatings, he drove me to my my workplace because I had to be work at five o'clock the next morning. Drove me to my workplace to make sure that I did not tell my boss or didn't he did one didn't run and two didn't tell my boss that you know he did it. So he he didn't even tell him I got in a bar fight. But he used to beat me and um he's the only man that's ever cheated on me as well. But I was madly in love with him. Today, if I saw him today, I'm not sure that I wouldn't love him. You know what I mean? Getting away from him was the hardest thing I had to do, ever had to do, other than, you know, deal with my kids. And, um, 
it would it would it, oh, it was heart-wrenching okay so then the number two that i was in love with um uh, like i said i was I, I used i was a drug addict so i was heavy into drugs at the time kind of find out he was like basically like what it was was uh, me and my husband were separated and like I, because i had gotten married and we were separated i was catholic you have to you get permission for a separation i'm not catholic now make note of that i'm ortho an orthodox christian similar to uh catholicism but the differences that i was looking for i found in orthodoxy anyways <clears throat> I don't want that. I didn't want to make this like a really long video and bore you guys, but you know, I I, I really want to keep it real with you guys. Like, I, I want I want a relationship. I want you guys to be my friends, my peeps. <laughs> but um, um. So then, like, there was him, and then, like, he. He was me. He, the whole like year and a half we were together, which it felt so much longer. But like I was dead. I was so in love with him. Like I'll tell you how I got him. Actually, like um my be like one of my best friends at the time started dating this guy, and she's like, oh, I really want you to meet him. And when I met him, I I instantly fell in love with him, and I knew I was supposed to be with him. I remember when he shook my hand and how he pulled away. He said that he knew to, you know what I mean, and there were things that wrecked like those relationships, and I feel like if we, if we would meet now, I feel like we would be together, but we didn't, and neither of us were mature enough, you know what I mean, you mature, you learn, and you mature, and you know, that's the way it is, um, but, uh, you know, I was, I was separated, which means I still had access to the money. So, and I had to have a place to live. So I was, you know, given like an allowance for that and, you know, food, all that. So, I mean, I was paying for everything and I was paying for both of our drugs. And come to find out he was basically, I mean, he did love me. I could tell he loved me at one point, but there at the end, I think he was just using me. But I feel, come to find out, I feel like he was using me. But, um, actually, like, um, I guess, I'm not going to give away, I guess, the name of the, my, the father either. We're going to call him Gerald. So, Gerald's my, my baby's, uh, well, my son's dad is Gerald, okay? And then the other one was, I can't remember what I called him. I think I actually gave out his real name. We're going to call him Keith. Okay. I'm going to try to, because um, I'm trying to remember these fake names. Okay. So, um, he, t uh, <clears throat> Gerald paid him, and he testified in court that I was a bad mother. And he knew that that would be the thing that hurt me the worst. And, you know, when, when I finally, you know, got away from him, he said that I would regret it. And I do with everything in me. <laughs> I regret it. I, I would have been with him and I would I would have let him beat me too. I mean, I, if I would have known, you know, my son meant the world to me. He really did. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't honestly tell a lot of people that story. I either say I don't have kids or I say I have kids and then don't answer questions. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I do have a son. But, um, back to the men thing. So, and then the, 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 this last one that I was in love with, it was three years, well, three years and some months, and I'm going to try to get a little bit comfortable here. The outfit I'm wearing is so cute. Let me pause, pause my, my talk and try to show you guys my outfit. I know I'm not going to be sure that. There's another tattoo. Yeah, a tattoo on my stomach. No, that's, that's the right, that right there is what a kid did, but the rest of us think is actually fine. But she has the shirt. It says, um, newsflash. Um, hold on, I don't even remember what I said. 
I am not. Oh, I'm not here to entertain you. Newsflash. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I thought this was cute. And then I have um, this shawl from Nun West. Not sponsored. Um, the scarf. Actually, the scarf. The scarf was Walmart. Yeah. No, it was Rue 21. Rue 21 scarf. Not sponsored again. And the shirt. I don't know. It was a gift. And then the leggings. Um, Aeropostale. I get most of my leggings from Aeropostale. Anyways. Um. Okay, and then uh, my, all my glasses are actually, like, they're actually prescription, but I do have, like, five pair because I, I don't want to wear, like, pink glasses with a green, or not, well, that match, with, like, a navy blue outfit or something, you know what I'm saying, but, um, <clears throat> I, I don't know, I wear glasses, and I'll take them off with the rest of the video, then. okay, um, so, uh, it, he broke my heart. Like, he broke my heart. Like, I moved down to the country, away from everybody, and didn't speak to anybody for over a year. I mean, I cried every day. He broke my heart. Like, I never thought I could love somebody as much as I loved him. And, uh, even now, to even talk about it, it, it breaks my heart. And we're going to call him Willie. <laughs> but, he, I mean, he destroyed me. And then, you know, being a stripper and being an escort, you, you, you lose a respect for men because you know how dirty they are. So, I mean, hell, why not, why not just keep it real and have the relationship, like, what it is? Why not date, get him to buy you stuff, you know, give you a little money if you need it, you know, if, you, if you're, you know, if, I mean, I'm not saying go find some ugly dude, I'm saying if he's hot, why not, why not, I mean, really, like, I was thinking about it because dating is is such a waste of time, and they end up they end up winning out. You know what I mean? And what do we really get out of it? We get their crap, and let's just do it. We get their crap. <clears throat> we um have to sit and wonder where they're at, what they're doing. Um. We we have to get questioned by them. We have we, you know it, it's so much stuff, just so so much. So, I mean, especially this last one, the nerve. Okay, he picks me up. He is going at my hollow too too fast, and I'm telling him stop. We're not even a mile from my house. And I'm like, you know, you need to slow down, or you need to stop, or you need to take me home, you know, da 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 da. He, I, you know, I got this, I got this, is what he said. So a car, another car came, the tires slid just a little bit, and we flipped three times, ended up on the roof. Um, and I told you I had to climb out. That was, you know, that, that these are the dates I'm getting. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I deserve that, you know, I've become wife material, like, I, I don't even think that I was maybe even wife material when I was married, I know my husband loved me more than anything, you know, I know I loved him, but I don't even think I was marriage material then, but I know that I definitely am now, but... I either want to be 100% in love mutually, like, and married, or I want an arrangement in which I know I'm getting all dolled up, I'm going out with you, you're taking me somewhere nice, and um, if I want to go shopping, you're going to buy me a few things, because, you know what I mean, if we're sleeping together, you know what I mean, if we're sleeping together, 
not just like to take me out for dinner. As far as like taking me out to dinner, getting to know me, you, you just like I'm gonna get all dressed up and you know take me out to a nice place, get to know me, um, spend some time with me. And it, it has to be somebody that I actually like. I wouldn't do it with just like anybody, but somebody I actually liked. And I've also thought about maybe even having a boyfriend and a girlfriend at the same time because they both offer different emotion, like different traits. Like a woman will offer like a more emotional relationship, as where a man, I feel like it would be more of a protective. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> I just want to be happy, and I don't like I don't care what people think about my love life. Um, the only problem is, my religion is, you date to marry, and I have a hard time with that, you know what I mean, everybody, you, come on, but, um, it's, it's literally been 31 dates of, of just crap in the last two years, in the last two years, it's been dates for nothing, and a few times free sex, so I became celibate, and I will remain celibate until I either, you know, really, really fall in love with somebody, or I find an arrangement I'm happy with, you know, because I think that I, I have started to like my own space a lot, and I feel like that's another reason the arrangement would work out because I wouldn't be loving my phone. You know what I mean? And, I mean, it would be known. I wouldn't have to wonder what they were doing. You know, but it would have to be somebody, like, I enjoyed spending time with that, you know, I guess I would be friends with on a normal basis. Sorry I'm playing with my hair. I don't guys, I don't know if you guys can notice, but <clears throat> I'm natural redhead, a strawberry blonde. But, well, actually, like, I was born with really dark hair, really, like, I'm Italian, you know what I mean? But, um, it turned, like, I guess the Irish in me, um, when I was about 16, it started turning strawberry blonde, and I hated it, so I've dyed it ever since. But I dyed it, um, just about, like, I think three days ago, but I dyed it like a, um, I think it was called Rush Ruby or Ruby Rush or something. But it's like you can't you can't tell on camera, but it's a really pretty red. Um, you can tell like when you're in the sun or in the light, you can tell the red undertones. And I'm sorry, like I straightened my hair one time. It was fixed today, but I've been mm, doing a bunch of stuff that I'm you know and preparing for a couple of videos. So, but uh, guys suck was my whole point of this video, like. They play games with you, they lie to you, like, they'll have, they'll have a wife, and they'll lie to you about that, you know, and then that makes you feel like crap, because you don't even mess with a married man, so then you feel bad, you know what I mean, it, men today, like, what is it? And then, I, when I was younger, like, it, it seemed like it was easier, but maybe that's because I was less choosier. I wasn't as smart. Like, now I know that I need a man that has their shit together. You know? I don't know. I would, like, all the women that have good men, like, kudos to you. Like, I ain't hating. I ain't hating at all. Keep him. You know, do everything you can to keep him. Because it is fucking, it, it, it's hard out here. It really is. I've had a, a rough, rough time. And, like, I would even consider, like, dating out of state. You know what I mean? I, I would even consider that. Because, like, you know, I guess that would be, like, kind of part of the arrangement. Like, if they were out of state, you know what I'm saying? Like, meet up once a weekend, once a month, or a couple weekends. I don't know. Whatever he can pay for. It. Like, because he would be flying me there. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or he'd be paying my gas. Whatever. Anyways. Like, why is it so hard? Like...
I, I, that's the chair, by the way. I just get lonely. Do you guys ever just get lonely? Like, I, I'm totally a, lone, a loner. Like, I have one close friend, and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty close with my mom. Other than that, no. And because you can't, like, you can't really trust anybody. Like, people I've thought that were close to me have either, like, stabbed me in the back, stole from me, like, shady, shady, shady things. You know, so, and then stole from me knowing if they asked, I'd give it to them. But, I guess my rant's over. I just, screw me in, like. It's rough out here, ladies that I men keep them, keep them, because it's rough out here, it really is, and by the way, Trisha Paytas, um, my nails, which are um, more than cute, I love gold, <laughs> uh, I thought this was like, so awesome. I was like, I guess it matches really nothing but everything, you know, because my favorite colors are gold, silver, um, uh, yeah, gold, silver, gray, and pink. Yeah. And my room's almost done. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the, some of the do-it-yourself stuff that I'm finishing up. And then, um, finishing the room and then I'm start I'm starting to juice um the day after tomorrow so I'm gonna have like the juicing video up um and then we're, we're gonna mark my progress we're gonna do it before and after and uh I am doing a um 21 day fast 21 day juice fast and um and it, like I, I've done it before. I know how it works and I know what I know how you feel afterwards, what it does for you. The benefits are worth it. They really are. But people tempt me so much. They like eat my favorite foods around me. I think they do it on purpose because they think I need to eat. But to be honest, you can survive one hundred percent on that. As long as I mean you have to have some protein. But I do have I'm used to protein powder. So, I have protein, but, um, I guess I haven't really posted in a couple of days, and I missed you guys, and I have some really good upcoming videos, and, um, like I said, give me a like, subscribe, comment, like I said on the comments, keep it positive, keep it positive. Thank you guys. Bye.